always find diamonds this way, but it's a uh, relatively effective technique in uh, to find diamonds. So let's venture down. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't remember this cave. I don't remember how I get really deep down to the earth, but I'm just going to keep... Oh, I didn't even explore this area. There you go. See? See? I'm exploring some areas that I didn't even go to yet. I'm trying to put a torch here so you guys can see. There we go. It's a nice little waterfall. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Don't know the rest of the lyrics. La 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 la. I actually don't even... Wait, is that... Oh, that's a TLC song. Wow, I just sang a girl song. That's pretty embarrassing. Shit. Oh, well. What can you do? Alright. And it leads to a dead end. Yep. But it has some coal. So it's not completely worthless. Coal is good. Good is coal. Coal good. Good coal. A lot of coal too. I should have a decent amount of coal. I don't know why I'm collecting all this shit. I don't need to. You know what? I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Fight the power. Fight the power. Power Rangers. Today's just a medley of songs. If I have a song in my head, I'm going to sing it. <laughs> Alright. Eh. Where else can we go here? What's this? Ooh. <laughs> uh, we can get up there. Go. Go. I hate going against waterfalls. They're really annoying. I think this is how I got down. Uh, yep, pretty sure. So I got down to the center of the earth. Uh, gonna crouch because I don't want to die. All right, so uh, this is the 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 core of the earth, and I'm gonna show you guys how to effectively mine for diamonds uh, while down here. Gotta make sure I don't die or anything. All right, let's see. I want to weigh down. Um, Okay, so the stats, if you want, you know, stats wise, diamond is found uh, 16 blocks, up to 16 blocks above uh, the, this, actually I can go down this way, above this, the, um, the base surface or the core, which is right here, this is obviously the core of the earth, um, so from that it would be level 0, then it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, etc., all the way up to 16. Diamonds can be found anywhere from here to here, or, you know, from, let's say there up to there, let's just say that's 16. Anywhere from there, diamonds can be found. Diamonds are will and can be found. Uh, they're less likely here, and more likely uh, as the lower you go. That's why a lot of people say, uh, make the assumption, not the assumption, the uh, correlation between di finding diamonds and, um, excuse me, finding diamonds and uh, lava being nearby. I just had a brain fart there, I'm sorry. Okay, so I think... Alright, so uh, I'm pretty sure this is not 16 blocks high yet. 1, 2, 3, 4, no, this is like 7 or 8 above the surface. So what I'm going to show you to do is I show you to do. I'm going to show you how to do is um, strip mine. This isn't the best example here, but what you're going to want to do is uh, dark space is up there, I think. Um, is you want to find a, a relatively long hallway or make a hallway <laughs> that is three f three high and I would say two or three wide. And what you want to do is you want to um, dig three high. So you're gonna just gonna do this, keep going, keep going as far as you can, basically as long as you're within the um, as long as you're within the parameters of finding diamonds, which is uh, being uh, under 16 blocks away from the center of the earth, or center of the Minecraft world, I guess, um, then you should be able to find diamonds, and you are eligible, quote-unquote, to find diamonds. Um, wow, there's a lot of... Um, I hear water, too. There's a lot of gravel. That's why you use shovels. Yeah. And I hear lava nearby being burnt by, um, or not being burnt, the ember of a lava uh, falling into water. So there's going to be some obsidian nearby. I always want to be careful when you're doing this. Sorry, my uh, background changed on my computer. Lagging it up. I should have changed that to stationary background. 
Alright. Sweet. Okay, and I got tons of picks left, so I'm not worried about that. And I have <laughs> an abundance of shovels, so I'm not worried about that either. So, uh, while this is a little boring, I'm just going to... See, you can always find other minerals in the way there. Um, this is a little boring, but it's uh, well worth it in the end. You find a ton of... Um, a ton of minerals and now the reason why you do three high is because I think it's something there's a bu uh, something about the bunching of minerals is that they they form in like the most possible is like three high if it's not coal and uh, or so like three wide it's, it's something there's some weird logic and weird rules to it but basically um, once you've finished or once you've gone to a certain point here you want to back out and give yourself three spaces so one sorry one two three and you can I think it's in mine here or mine here I think it's mine so you give yourself sorry two spaces between and then you mine uh, another strip mine beside it and now what this does is instead of uh, doing each like every uh, second one so like do this one skip do this one the likelihood of finding the same mineral that's within here like let's say there's a like that coal over there. If I were to mine this way, I would have found it. But if I mine this one as well, I'll probably I'll probably still be able to find that coal. And um, I'm not going to show you because that's a long walk. But uh, most likely I will be able to f to find that same coal. And this is a big drop. I <laughs> gotta be careful here. <clears throat> but yeah, so. If you want to know how to, to strip mine properly, oh, I gotta be so careful here. Holy shit. Um, the the proper way to strip mine is to, that way, which is um, <clears throat> uh, three high. You could do four high as well. I, I like doing three high. Three high, two spaces, three high, two spaces, three high. Just go as far as you want, as far as, you know, I guess your equipment runs out or whatever it is, your tools run out. Um, I personally go like 50. What's this? I personally go 50 before I uh, just turn around and you know start another strip mine, another strip. And this maximizes your chances of finding diamonds. So if you're wondering how I, uh, I, you know, typically you find diamonds just walking around in caves and seeing them. But if you're hunting for diamonds like I am right now, then this is what you do. And uh, I remember uh, on a multiplayer server I played with a couple of uh, friends. We, I, sorry, not we, I found, um, in a matter of like an hour or so of serious hunting, I found probably 20 something diamonds, uh, just because it's, there's a way, like a certain way to do it, right? If you do it, if you're doing it wrong, <laughs> then you're not going to be successful, uh, or you're going to be wasting your tools, wasting your time, etc. So, knowing how to do it is the, knowing how to accomplish it is the first challenge, and I see this ore right here. Alright, got some more iron going on, and iron is awesome, and uh, never mind, never stand on what you're about to mine, because you never know what's going to be below surface. It could be lava, it could be uh, a mob spawner, if you're, I don't know, <laughs> I've never run into a mob spawner, I've never like, I don't know. Oh wow, this is, sorry, I'm, I'm just taking it back at how much iron there is here. There's a huge abundance of iron, and I am not complaining one bit because iron is awesome. And these are the little pockets you'll find uh, in either side of the uh, either side of these strips. Yeah, this is just a ton of iron. That's absolutely awesome. So far, I've 28 pieces, I think. 29 pieces. No, 28 pieces. I lied. Oh whoops! Damn it, <laughs> that was a waste. Um, uh, and I'm just paranoid. I like to cover everything back up so I know how I'm supposed to be mining. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, I know not very interesting episode unless I find diamond in the next like couple minutes. But uh, but yeah, that's basically how you're gonna. That's how you want to go about finding diamonds. Um. Uh, or finding alternate areas. That's always a good thing too. Because what that is is basically a chance for you to find. Oh, never mind. It's just a big pit. Shit. I lied to you guys. I'm sorry. I keep lying to you guys. 
keep saying this is going to be so interesting and like finding all these cool things and I'm failing you guys. I hate gravel, so I use it first. All right. Anyways, um, thanks guys for watching. And again, if you haven't, if you are still watching, uh, feel free. No, I I would honestly like really hope that you guys take the time and uh, download the toolbar. Uh, link is in the description. It's really helpful to me and it keeps you guys in touch. I'll be communicating through it. Maybe, maybe, not sure. Depending on how uh, how how I get and what kind of reception I get of it. But uh, thanks, and I try to make it, you know, cool looking and sleek, but not, you know, too bothersome. And you know, I know how typical toolbars are. It's just like, wow, like look at all this shit that I don't need. No, th this toolbar is pretty sleek. It has all the stuff that you're gonna want uh, in a regular, in a good toolbar. And here's some redstone, which is, in my opinion, completely worthless because I don't really use it too often. I've had some requests to uh, use it, so I may have to, but uh. By option, I don't use redstone too much. Too much, too often. All right, well, that's gonna. I'm gonna wrap this video up, this episode up. Thanks, guys, for watching. And this is Noob Sniper signing off, saying, if you liked it, like it, and if you uh, want to see more, feel free to subscribe.